So we are going to look at the second part. So we're still in section 6.1. This is just the second part. So I split it into two parts. The first part was adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, right? It was pretty simple, yes? You literally just added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided, correct? The second part, we're going to talk about composition of functions. So, in composition, in a composition of functions, the results of one function are used to evaluate a second function. So for example one, If we are given f of x equals negative 3x and g of x equals negative x plus 8. We are going to find For A, we're going to find f of g of negative 1. So that means we have f of, and we always want to evaluate what's inside first. So g of negative 1 means in this g function, we replace x with what? negative 1, right? So we have a negative on the outside, and then I would have to have negative 1 plus 8. So I replaced x with negative 1. So I have a negative negative 1 plus 8. And what's the negative and the negative do? Makes it positive. So now I'm just talking about f of 9 because one plus eight is nine, correct? Mm -hmm. So then here, all I need to do is plug that in for x and f of x, correct? So here, instead of f of x, I have f of nine. So I replace x with nine. So f of g of negative one simply equals what? Negative 27. Question so far? So we evaluate what's the inside first, right? Here, if we have g of f of 2. We have to evaluate the f of 2 first. Agreed? So we still have g of, and now in f, we're replacing x with what? 2. So we have negative 3 times 2. Well, that gives me g of negative 6. And if you compare that to g of x, all we do is replace x in g of x with negative 6, correct? So I have a negative on the outside. x is negative 6 plus 8. 
Well, what's minus a negative? And so g of f of 2 equals 14. Questions on that? Anybody? Okay, so instead of now having a number, we're just going to have the x. So in this one, we're finding f of g of x. So we replace g of x with what g of x equals. What does g of x equal? Negative x plus 8. So all we did was substitute what g of x is in for g of x. Everybody understand that? And now you've done something like this before, haven't you? f of negative x plus 8. All we're doing there is plugging that in and replacing x with negative x plus 8. Yes? So here we have negative 3. And instead of x, I now have negative x plus 8. So f of g of x would equal, multiply that out. Negative 3 times negative x is? Negative 3 times 8 is? And that's your answer. If we did g of f of x, we replace f of x with what f of x is, which is negative 3x. Then we look at our g function, and we're replacing x with this whole thing, yes? So we have a negative on the outside, and then we would have negative 3x. Plus 8. Well, a negative and a negative is a positive 3x plus 8. So g of f of x simply equals 3x plus 8. Questions? All right, example 2. Given f of x equals x squared plus 2 and g of x equals x minus 6. Find for a, we're going to do f of g of 2. So what do we have to do first? We gotta find g of two first, correct? So we have f, right? And then in g, we're replacing x with, so I would have two minus six, yes? which would give me f of negative 4. And then I can substitute into f of x, can't I? So I replace x with, so I have negative 4 squared plus 2. Do we agree with that? Yes. And that would give me 16 plus 2. So f of g of 2 equals 18. Questions there? If we have f of g of x, I 
I replaced g of x with what g of x is, yes? Which is? And then to find f of x minus 6, I replace x in f of x with x minus 6, yes? So here I would have x minus 6 squared plus 2. Do we agree with that? Well, x minus 6 squared is actually x minus 6 times... And I would distribute x times x is, x times negative 6 is, negative 6x, six negative 6 times x is, and negative 6 times negative 6 is, and we still have plus 2, correct? So f of g of x would equal x squared minus 12x plus 8. Questions on that? Um, let's look at C. How about this? How about G of F of X? So this is going to be g of, what is f of x? x squared plus 2. And then we substitute that in for g, right? Mm -hmm. So in the x, we now would have x squared plus 2, but we also have the minus 6. Does everybody agree? So all we did there was replace x with x squared plus 2. Then we have minus 6, so we have g of f of x equals x squared minus 4. Easy enough? Or not? Easy. Are we not finding this easy? Right. Anybody struggling with it? Okay, D. What about this? f of f of x like this. What does that mean? That mean times it. There's no multiply, right? It's a composition, so we plug f of x in, don't we? So we're not multiplying it by itself. We substitute it in, so we're substituting x squared plus 2 in for f of x, yes? And so we're not multiplying it by itself, but we're plugging it into itself, yes? So we're going to substitute back into the f of x. So here... We replace x with x squared plus 2. It is squared, and we still have plus 2. So remembering x squared plus 2 squared means x squared plus 2 times x squared plus 2, and we still have plus 2, yes? So we take x squared times x squared and we get x to the, and then we take x squared times 2 and we get, and then 2 times x squared is, and 2 times 2 is, and we still have plus 2. Does everybody agree with that? So f of f of x would equal... We have x to the 4th, and then we can combine these, and we would get plus, and we combine this, and we would get plus 6. Questions on that? Okay, one more example here. If we look at example 3. Given f of x equals 3x squared minus x plus 4 and g of x 
equals 2x minus 1, find for A, we're doing f of g of x. So, Remember last Thursday when I said make sure that that's not an open circle because if it's an open circle, it doesn't mean multiplication, right? If you have f times g of x, that means something different, right? That's where we would multiply the two functions. Agreed? Here, this is composition, which is what we've been doing. It can be rewritten as f of g of x, what we've, exactly what we just did on the page before. So if you see it written like this, rewrite it like this. It will help you. Because all this means is now we replace g of x with what it is, yes? What is g of x? And then f of 2x minus 1 means in the f of x function, we replace the x's with, so we have 3 times 2x minus 1 squared minus 2x minus 1 and plus 4. Now the key here is that you have to remember that 2x minus 1 squared is not 4x squared minus 1, right? You have to multiply 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1, so you have to expand that. Everybody understand what I'm saying there? We still have the 3 on the outside. Here we distribute. 2x times 2x is... And then we multiply here and we'd get minus. And then here we multiply and we get minus 2x and plus 1, right? Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Then we have minus 2x minus 1 and we still have plus 4. And then I need to combine like terms inside the parentheses. So we always do groupings first. So here we have to add the 2x, the negative 2x, and negative 2x to get negative 4x. And then I can distribute all of that. Do you agree? So distributing, we would have 12x squared minus 12x plus 3, and then minus 2x and plus 1 and plus 4. So f of g of x, and you got to make sure you would write your answer how it was asked, correct? So it asked for this form, we write it in this form, and all we have to do is combine like terms there. So x, uh, 12x squared, then we have negative 12x and negative 2x would give us minus 14x, and then 3, 1, and 4 would give us 8, correct? So that would be the longest one, right? <clears throat> and not that it was super difficult, it just had a lot of steps to it. Here, g of f of x, again, rewrite it. G of whatever comes second is the one that's going to go inside. Yes? And so then we'd have G of F of X was what? And then all we're doing with that is in the G of X function, replacing X with that whole thing. Do you agree? which means I would have two times x is now 3x squared minus x plus 4. We still have to have the minus 1 there. Sammy, wake up. What do we do here? Mm 
you get 6x squared minus 2x plus 8 minus 1. So g of f of x equals 6x squared minus 2x plus 7. Here, g of g of x. So we have the g on the outside, but we also have g of x on the inside, right? So kind of like what we did with the f of f, right? Here we replace g of x with what g of x is. So we have g of, what is g of x? And then we're substituting it back into itself, yes? So here, we're replacing x with, and we still have minus 1 on the outside, yes? Distribute, we get 4x minus 2 minus 1, and g of g of x would equal 4x minus 3. Questions? We all feel okay on this? All right, I'm going to hand out your assignment.